Hello and welcome back to another Dragon's Dogma 2 quest guide. In this one I'm going over two quests in one video, but they're related to each other and are both missable side quests called Claw Them Into Shape, which is the first one, started as soon as you can leave the Border Watch outpost at the start of the game, and we have Baron's Final Lesson, which is the quest you start immediately after you finish the first one. And that one will have a reward of a unique two-handed weapon called Life Taker, so we're doing both quests in one. Let's take a look. Now to start the quest you must first speak with Eli in the Border Watch Outpost. He mentions his training instructor Sir Baron leaves and goes home at the end of the day and you need to find where he lives. I'm not sure if it's necessary or not but I went straight here at night but it might not be necessary. You can double check in the comments to see if other people get him during the day. But to find him you have to head here to the Moongo Gardens directly west of the Border Watch Outpost and this is where his tent is. Talk with him and he wants you to help him find weapons and a motivated soldier. Now like all quests in Dragon's Dogma, try to do them as soon as you can as you can fail quests pretty easily. The next part in the quest takes part in the city of Venworth, where you go for the story immediately after Melv. So it will take a little while until you get there, just keep following the story until you reach there. Once you're in the city, you can find a man named Humphrey, who you will find when you're wandering around, and he will approach you, and he's looking for someone to help train him, and you can tell him about Baron, and he will leave immediately and find him. The next step is simple, all you have to do is have three swords, you can find them in chests, or you can simply buy them from a vendor, and once you've done that, you can head back all the way to Baron, and you will either have to walk, or you can find a cart and fast travel there. Once you return you can hand over the stuff and then Baron will want to spar and you need to push him out of the arena in order to win. It doesn't actually matter though if you win the fight or not, you can simply just exit the arena on your own and lose straight away to get the fight over with. After the fight with Baron another soldier will say that there's a goblin attacking nearby and you will have to follow him and Baron outside of the camp along a path west towards the campsite after which you will find some wounded soldiers, but that is all there is to it and you will complete the quest. This will reward you with 1200 XP and 4500 gold, but it also opens another quest which we're going to do called Baron's Final Lesson. So after that quest, simply head to the campsite nearby and you can sleep until morning to reset the area. Now head to the Moongo Garden and you can speak with Sir Baron. During the conversation you are attacked by a cyclops and you will have to defeat him. Much easier to 
target the line crow. This brute has quite the temper. After the fight, rest again at the campfire, return to Baron to complete the quest, and he will give you the reward of your new two-handed unique weapon called Life Taker. But guys, that is it. That is how to complete this set of quests in Dragon's Dogma 2. Like and subscribe for more Dragon's Dogma 2 guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.